here are three tips and tricks for any beginners. So to help you find the angle of your knife, um, you can just use a couple of pennies and just put them on your stone. Rest your knife down and sort of feel where that is. I then like to feel with my thumb where on that blade should is my thumb. And I sort of use that as a guide. And you just remove them before you start sharpening. You've got your angle, you can just start sharpening. Another way to help you find your angle is to use Sharpie. Black or colored is easier, but we only had gray at the moment. And you just take your Sharpie and go along the edge of the blade. And you can see that. So when you sharpen your knife and go along the blade, you will see how much of that has disappeared. Is it just a little bit at the edge that's disappeared like that? Then you have your angle too high and you want to lower it. Um, you just want it to be pretty evenly sort of scraped back. And then you know you have your sort of right, the right angle. And you can just do that along the whole blade and you can just keep lifting and looking to see where your angle is. And then you can very easily remove it with some nail polish remover. Um, to help you find the right kind of pressure, you can use a, just a regular kitchen scale. Very simple. If you have a very dull knife, like we did at the beginning, you want to put roughly about four kilos of pressure. So you can just sort of push your fingers against the scale until you have that sort of right kind of pressure and you will know, okay, that's, that's where I want to be. Um, and for a semi dull knife, but not very dull, that you just want to maintain and get it razor sharp, about one to two kilos of pressure is enough. And again, you sort of push that against the scale, see where that kind of pressure is. And the more you sharpen your knife, the more you'll get used to it and you probably won't need to use the scale, but it's a great help to get an idea of kind of pressure you need to apply in the beginning.